Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Aldina, for those of you that don't know and are new here. I am a software engineer and I make IT and programming related videos here on YouTube. So in today's video I want to talk about a topic that is highly requested in my comments and messages. And as I said, I went to computer science university and I always was a good student. I actually always tried to be the best, but looking back from this perspective, after working for several years in this industry, I now realize that there are a few things that I never learned at university and are very important for you to know if you want to pursue this career, if you want to be successful at programming, development, if you want to be a successful software engineer. So here are five things that I want to share with you that you will not learn at computer science schools, but are very important for you to know. The first thing university will not teach you is how much money you should and can earn. So how much you are worth when it comes to money. Uh, so let me ask you a question. On your first job interview, how much money would you ask for? Like when they ask you how much do you expect to earn here, what would be your answer? No one teaches you that at university and getting that first job, they can tell you that you are worth twice as much as you think or three times less and you don't really know. So only when you start working, when you talk with people, when you talk with people from your company and from other companies, and then when you really see how much you are contributing, only then you can get an idea of how much money you should earn. So if you decide to go for another job after that, then you will have a much clearer idea of how much money you should ask for. So you will not base that idea on a bluff. You will not say, let's ask for more money so that they think that I really know that much and that I really worth that much. Or you will not say, let's ask for less so that I appear more modest and I have higher chances of getting that job. But that idea will be based on real experience that you have. So that is one very important thing that universities don't teach you and in my opinion it is very important for you to know how much you are worth and then you shouldn't really accept offers that are below that. Uh, however, you can accept those that are above if you want. <laughs> Another important thing that they will not teach you at university is this real life experience that you get once you start working on real life projects and that is because Many universities have the approach to teaching, which is the following. Here are all of the things that you should know. Here are all of the questions and all of the right answers and all the things that you should memorize. And once you do, that's it. You get your computer science degree and everything is great. So many people finish university and then carry with them this box of knowledge. And what often happens is that they never look outside of that box. They never look outside of those things that they're professors, their educators thought are important for them to know. So they never see all of the other things that they should know and that are as well important. So once you start working on real life project and once clients start using your application, all of a sudden a million problems emerge like backdoors, security issues, bugs, performance issues. And you are like, what do I do now? We never talked about this during university. So just this past week, I have been working on a problem where a client said that the application is behaving unexpectedly and that it loses data. So I was trying to reproduce that bug in my environment, but without success. In my environment, everything worked perfectly fine. Everything was okay. So after some time of researching, I concluded that they have a huge problem with electrical installations. So all of a sudden they get these power cuts, all of a sudden power goes out and of course that application will lose data. So the university approach to this problem would be, okay, we concluded that our application is not the problem, here's your problem and once you fix that, everything should work fine. But do you do this in real life? In most cases, you don't. So what I had to do is I had to make this whole backup plan of what happens if at any moment application loses power. So once I try to do something, I write in a log. I say, okay, now I'm trying to do this. So if I get that power cut, once my application is up again, I say, okay, I was trying to do this, but I never got the confirmation that that was done. So what do I do now? Do I try to do it again? Do I inform my user that there was a problem or do I do something else? 
that would be the approach that you would have in real life in most cases. I mean, um, if that client is not really that important, I guess that you can tell them, okay, our application is not the problem, here is your problem, please fix that. But if it is some important client, uh, if it is a VIP client, then you will have to find a solution. And in many cases, in most cases, clients are important. So I believe that those are things that university will never be able to teach you. And those are things that you can learn only with real life experience and with working on real life projects and problems. This is something that a lot of people don't know, and it is even a little bit controversial to say it, but many universities have some sort of a deal or agreement or partnership with different companies out there. So companies like uh, Facebook or Microsoft or Amazon or Google, and then smaller companies as well. And then once they have this deal, once they have this partnership, uh, most universities will focus on teaching you those specific technologies that the company needs or uses or produces and they will present that as something that is important for you to know and not everyone after finishing university will work for that specific company and you will see this when you finish your university and you realize that you know 10 things that no company cares about and then you never heard about 10 other things that companies do actually need. And then another thing is that knowledge that you get at university is limited to the knowledge that your educator has. And if you work as an educator full time, so if you work as an educator all day, every day, how much time do you have left? Like realistically, how much time do you have left to research and learn for yourself and to really get into these deep and complex problems that people have in development? So that is one problem. And then another problem is that many students will just get a small fraction of that knowledge that their educator has. And in most cases, that is not really enough. So very often, a skill set that you get at university does not really match a skill set that is needed by companies. Responsibility is something very important to mention, and most people will not learn to be responsible at universities because most universities have exams every two months or every three months, and that really allows people to learn for a few days every two months or every three months. Whereas if you work for a company, you will have to learn and work almost every single day. So uh, there is a very big difference. And then if you make errors, for example, at university, those errors have much smaller consequences than the errors that you make at work. So for example, if you work with other people's money and if you make errors, people get very, very sensitive to that. So you can lose other people's money or you can create some legal issues or you can leak some confidential data or you can lose money for your company if the deadlines are not met. The best way to explain this is on an example of you learning to drive a car. So while you are learning, your instructor is there with you and if you forget a red light or you don't see a pedestrian, the guy is there to hit the brakes if needed. But once you get your driver's license, you are on your own. So all of this responsibility suddenly falls on your shoulders. And I remember my first day driving alone. I was like, oh my God, these people are crazy. They are everywhere. I'm going to kill someone. So there is much bigger responsibility if you work for a company than on university, for example. And then there are other things as well that come with you earning your own money, things like paying your rent or paying your mortgage, paying the bills, uh, taxes, and things like that. A lot of people think that once you finish university and get a computer science degree, you are entitled to get a good job or a big salary, but you are not really. I wasn't, all of my friends weren't, unless you have a very influential family and you know 100% that a very good job is waiting for you. But that is not the case for most of the people. So it's not like you finish university, you get your computer science degree and all of a sudden all the companies want to give you a job. So I don't know about your country, but in my country universities are not free and they are not cheap. 
and all this time when you go to school and then high school and then university mostly your parents and your relatives and then teachers and society tell you go to university and get that degree and that means that you will have a good job and you will have a good salary and you will have a secure future but um, that is not necessarily true and what they don't tell you what most of them don't ever tell you is that you can be just as successful even without that degree even without going to college and proof of that are people like mark zuckerberg bill gates steve jobs people that actually dropped out of college but made very successful careers in this industry you must agree so um don't get me wrong this is not me telling you don't go to university this is just me sharing my point of view as someone who went to university and finished it with the best grades, but later I had years of experience in this industry seeing what is important and what is not really. And having computer science degree does not mean anything unless you have the knowledge to back it up. And to be honest, in my particular situation, my company never asked for my computer science degree. So very important thing to keep in mind is don't just learn to get a degree, but learn to get knowledge, because that is the most important thing that you can have. So those were some of my thoughts that I have related to this topic. And those are some of the things that I've seen being in this industry for the past seven or eight years since 2013. And considering that many of you have requested for me to make a video related on how to learn programming and get a job without computer science degree. That is going to be my next video and I will link it here and then put it in the description down below as well once I publish it. And in case that you don't want to miss out on that video, uh, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. And if you liked this one, please give it a thumbs up. So thank you very much for watching and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye!